Hey everyone, I'm Neha, passionate IT engineer working as an automation architect. I have been associated with Udacity for the last three years now, learning a wide variety of projects during this tenure. Uh, I love sharing my knowledge and that is why I'm here today to talk in depth about one of the projects from self-driving car engineer nano degree. This nano degree teaches you the skills and techniques required to build autonomous vehicles. The program covers a wide range of topics including computer vision, sensor fusion, deep learning, uh, localization, path planning, as well as control and trajectory tracking. If programming, mathematics, and dynamics of autonomous vehicles interest you, then this is the right place for you to build the skills needed to pursue a career in this rapidly evolving industry. While going through the nano degree, you would go through a series of lessons to understand a certain topic, at the end of which you would receive a project uh, where you get to apply the learned skills. Each project has its own set of specifications or rubric uh, that need to be met in order to pass the project. So today I'm going to talk about object detection in an urban environment project. This is the first project of the nano degree. And in this one, um, it uses TensorFlow object detection API framework and AWS services to train and deploy models for object detection and classification. And uh, you would be given a set of notebooks as a starter code, wherein you would have the code uh, which basically trains and deploys one of the default model, which is efficient debt. Uh, and, and that model uh, code is already provided. I'll also walk you through the steps that would be needed uh, in, on AWS in order to go ahead and start working on the uh, requirements of this project. Uh, the requirement would be mainly to, you know, be able to uh, train and deploy at least two pre-trained models other than efficient deck. And you need to choose the best model that, you know, uh, that you should go ahead and deploy and then generate an output video. So basically, um, the main requirement is that you work on two different models other than efficient debt, which you use to train and deploy and then generate an output video which shows the detections of vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists using that deployed model. So this, these are the set of rubric that you can see uh, which need to be met for completion of this project. And you need not worry about it much right now as you would get more clarity as we walk through the project requirements and the set of uh, instructions that are needed to go ahead with this project. So once you launch the AWS console using this launch cloud gateway, you would reach the console screen, which should look something like this. And you need to search for SageMaker services, right SageMaker, and you would see this Amazon SageMaker service here. So the first step that you would have to do is create a SageMaker notebook, uh, wherein basically create a notebook instance on the SageMaker service. I have already created this one, but I'll just quickly show you how it can be done. You can type the name of the instance here, and you need to choose the instance type as ML G5 X large. And we need to make sure that we choose this particular instance size only because it would meet all our requirements in order to execute the API successfully. I already have a rule created, but for your case, you can create a new rule and make sure you have any S3 bucket chosen and then just click on create rule. Under Git repositories, what you should do is from the instructions, pick up the GitHub link, and clone this in your notebook instance.
once you have copied that git repository url here you can just click on create notebook instance and your instance will be created once you have your instance ready it will take some time for SageMaker to get it up and running so after a few minutes you will have it in service status and then you can open that Jupyter so here as you can see I have the entire repository available on AWS SageMaker notebook instance and this helps me to get all the code in place for me to start working on this so I would suggest you that once you have set the notebook instance you start going through the links and tutorial that have been indicated in the notebook because that would help you to get the background and the needed understanding uh, for this project so right now let me walk you through the code run that has been done for efficient debt model so here as you can see uh, we are importing all the required libraries and we set the required rule and we also um, need to set up an S3 bucket before you know we can run that efficient debt default model code so for this S3 bucket you would have to go to AWS console again and type S3 or you can see this icon for S3 and you click on that I already have a bucket created but for you you can go ahead and create a new bucket make sure you have AWS region US East 1 selected and you type the name of the bucket here okay once you are done with this you don't need to make any other changes just click on create bucket since I already have a bucket created, I'll just go ahead and show you that one. So I have this object walkthrough bucket created. I need to go back to my notebook instance because what I need to do is I need to provide this S3 bucket path in the notebook. So I'll go ahead and go to my notebook instance. So since I've already loaded it here, I'm just going here and now as you can see in the sensor board S3 prefix you need to provide that bucket name. Please make sure that you correctly update it here otherwise you may not be able to successfully execute rest of the cells. So once you've done that and executed this cell uh, you would see that uh, there is a code to train the model. Uh, uh, you basically have to build a docker container and all these steps do the needful steps once this is done you can always go ahead and check uh, the container details under elastic container registry and you would see an entry appearing there and the next step uh, you go ahead and get the model checkpoint uh, downloaded and extracted so basically this is one step where you would have to make changes when you try any other model apart from efficient debt so once you uh, explore more models uh, you know there there are links in the project instructions which navigate you to uh, the tensorflow object detection model zoo where you get a series of uh, models listed there and you can try your hands on to any one of those and with the help of those um, and, and making the changes in the pipeline configuration you can uh, you know try any other model apart from efficient debt so here you can see that I have tried executing this and once you know this one is going to take a couple of minutes and once this is done you would have your checkpoint downloaded and extracted and once that is done we start the training so an important point to note is that you know the instance type has to be correct uh, here and 
you need to make sure that your notebook is made with the correct instance type. Once your training is completed, you would see that you get training success. You would have average precision and uh, mean average precision values available for you. These can be utilized for doing the comparison of uh, validation laws and localization laws and uh, you know what you can do better to improve the performance of the models. And your write-up uh, can go in the train model notebook itself. Uh, and this can be one place where you can add all the experiments that you have performed. Once you're done with the training part, you would then move on to the deployment. And let me just quickly show you the deploy notebook as well. Under run inference directory, we have train model, oh, sorry, deploy model notebook. And inside this, we are going to deploy the model that we've chosen. So here in the model artifact, uh, you would need to give the S3 path uh, of the model um, that you have, you know, trained. So how you would reach here is that once you go to the, your S3 bucket and you have done all the steps that are there in train model, you would have this SageMaker US East instance. Let me just open this. Under this, you would have output directory, which you would have to open. And inside this, you need to copy the S3 URI. Once you've copied this S3 URI, you need to place it here. And then you run the notebook um, cells. And once you have done all this, uh, you should be able to create an image which shows the detections of vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists in the final output video. So, which is the main aim of uh, this project that you understand how uh, training and deployment uh, of models is being done using these services and TensorFlow Object Detection API. So I wish you good luck and thank you so much for uh, being with me while we dig deeper into this project. And don't forget to subscribe to Udacity's YouTube channel for more. And, and uh, don't forget to visit Udacity's website to hear and understand more on Udacity's NanoDegree catalog. Thank you.